Hello, Salesforce Ohana. Should you become a developer? I get asked this question all the time. And in this video, I'm gonna break down if you should or should not become a dev. Should I become a developer? Is development a right career path for me? Well, let me just skip right to the end. Yes, you should become a developer. Thanks for watching my TED Talk. In all seriousness, development is just problem solving. It is about finding efficient ways of making things better and knowing there's a solution for every feasible problem that's out there. If you like problem solving, then development is probably for you. Now, why should you become a Salesforce developer? Well, the pay is great, number one. Last I checked, the average salary for Salesforce developers were over 100K and it's only going higher. And in case you needed another reason, there is a ton of job security, right? There are different job openings all the time and it's really easy for devs to find a job in the Salesforce ecosystem. And even if you're not going to look for a development job, it is still good to understand those development concepts. Every Salesforce role will benefit from knowing a little bit of development or coding. And the more you learn, the better you'll be. So learning code will help you write better formula fields, write better flows, and understand the bigger picture of Salesforce as a whole. Just because a developer writes an integration doesn't mean that an admin shouldn't completely understand how it works or be completely in the dark, right? You should have a basic understanding of how those things work like bi-directional syncs and stuff like that. Having an engineering mindset will help you solve problems more efficiently. And being a developer is not just about writing code all day long. You need to be able to communicate with other departments and translate those things and just be passionate about technology as a whole. So using those programming concepts to help solve problems, whatever it may be. Becoming a programmer can really help you bring magic to life, right? You're creating something out of nothing. I've talked about it before in previous videos, but maybe you have this wonderful app idea or there's something that's been bugging you on some sort of platform that you've been using. Now, as a developer and as you start to learn development, you will be able to understand some design choices behind certain things and you may be able to create something all on your own. You can bring that app idea to life, which would be really great. You can put it up on the app exchange and become a business owner, right? And that's just another thing that layers on top of it where you may not have had that opportunity as an admin, but as a developer, you're really stretching the platform to do whatever you need it to do. I talked about why you should become a developer, but now we kind of need to understand can you become a developer? Do you have the capacity of being a dev? And once again, the easy answer is yes. It does not, I'll tell you right now, I will tell you right now, it does not matter what your age is, your race, your gender, your background, can you become a dev? Yes, it is, it's just a matter of willpower practice and the willingness to learn. I've been doing Salesforce development for probably over seven years. I don't know when you're watching this, but over seven years and I make over a hundred K for the past like three to four years. Recruiters are in my, my LinkedIn and my DMS all the time looking for me, but I want you to know there's nothing special about me. I have failed my first programming class. What really kind of made it for me is I found this stuff really interesting and I did not give up even with that failure. Um, there were people smarter than me that were in my classes and things like that. I'm not a super genius and you don't need to be a super genius to do this. Like with anything, it's practice and experience. And speaking of experience, you don't need any prior experience. You don't need a fancy degree or anything like that. All you need to do is just start coding, start programming every day, find something that interests you, like a personal project. I started with a movie database and I just kind of built that out. But um, 
you can kind of do whatever you want and things that interest you on the Salesforce ecosystem, just build it out, whatever your everyday life is. Even if it doesn't come to fruition, even if it doesn't work, you will learn every time. And then the next thing that you do will be even better than before. You should become a developer because it will help you in your career, in your life, and much more. You'll start thinking differently right? You will be a problem solver and any obstacle that you face, there will be some sort of solution, no matter the time, whatever it is. So don't wait, use the resources I've linked. It doesn't matter if it's my courses, if it's somebody else's courses, you know, I link to a bunch of stuff. Everyone learns differently. The biggest thing is to start coding right now. Uh, if you're a career changer and some of you are, that is great. That is wonderful. And also if you are first, this, this is your first time, right? All aboard the dev train. Um, come on. Anybody can learn this. It's really about sticking to it. And if it didn't stick the first time, that's okay. This time is going to be different. You know, don't, don't talk down to yourself. Don't say that you can't achieve those goals. Try this out. Continue to try. And if that's one big takeaway that you can take from my videos is really to start programming. Anybody can learn it. All you need to do is practice and just gain that experience as you go along. So I hope this is helping, giving you some inspiration to become a Salesforce developer. And it's really just the beginning of your journey. Should you become a developer? Ask yourself, do you want a fulfilling career? Do you want good pay? Do you want job security benefits? The answer is always yes. Can you become a developer? Of course you can. Don't let that little voice, that little imposter syndrome voice in your head tell you you cannot. All you need to do is continue to learn, put your best foot forward, and there will be people out there like myself and others that will help guide you through along this path. It's going to take some teaching and things aren't always going to go the right way the first time. I'll do my best to help guide you along, give you some best practices and teach you things that I've learned along the way. And I hope to learn from you all in the future as well. In this field, you're really learning from each other. I read other people's code all day long. And it's really about experiencing and becoming a, de a better developer. So I hope that you all will kind of see this video and get inspired to become a developer and take that kind of path down Salesforce development. So I think the real question is why aren't you a developer already, right? There's tons of resources out there. You can go to Google, there's boot camps, there's going to school, all of these things. And I, I feel like it's a bit overwhelming, right? So that's why I have created my courses to help guide people through in a way that I would have liked to have known getting started out. I have a degree in programming and that only helped me so much, but now being seven plus years in, I have a good understanding of like what the important things are. And that's what I'm trying to share with a lot of you in the courses, guides, and tips that I'm giving out. As always, thank you all so much for watching. If this video has helped you to start writing some code, let me know what you're writing. If you're using some resources, if you're using uh, boot camp or going to back to school to learn code. Let me know how you're doing it. I'm really curious about it. And if this video was helpful, make sure to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And it helps the algorithm gods out. And as always, I'm Walters954. Thank you all once again. And remember, I believe in you.